Yo, what is up, everybody? It's me, 45. We are joined tonight by Madden Pro Fancy. We are going to get a little bit of background information on him, and then we were going to get into the questions and get the show rolling. So take it away, Fancy. Uh, what's up, guys? My name's Fancy. Uh, I'm a competitive. I, some people call me a pro. I wouldn't consider myself a pro yet, but uh, yeah, pro slash competitive Madden player. Uh, I've been playing for, this is really my second year taking it super serious so far. Um, and uh, yeah, I've made two two live events. One was the Madden Classic this year, at the very start of the year. And then I made the, the Last Chance Qualifier Tournament, um, which is also considered a live event, uh, technically. Um, and yeah, I, uh, I stream on Twitch and stuff, all that. Uh, just play like competitive map. Yeah, we will have his, his links and stuff. They will be down in the description once we upload the video. So if you guys want to check them out, we'll have that there. One of my mods, when they pop in here, um, we'll get your link posted. But getting into it now, since we got the big news that we have the beta coming out for the weekend, how much are you looking forward to Madden 21? I'm super excited just because, like, with how this year has been, I'm just, like, I'm so ready. I, don't, I have barely even been playing the game anymore, really. Like, I just hop on, like, play no rep games or nothing, just play tournaments and play, like, uh, whatever, like, CFMs that I'm in or, or, or any kind of tournaments. I just get right off and, and play, like, Call of Duty or just do something else because it's, it's been super rough. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm definitely super excited to, to play a new game. Yeah, I, I'm I'm in the same boat. Like I'm just like I log on, and for some reason I, I'm just I guess I'm just in that habit of doing dailies. So I'll hop on, hit my daily, and I'm just disappear from the game. I don't know why, but that's just what I do. Like I don't play it. Like I said, I, I'm kind of like you with it, with the CFMs and stuff like that. Now getting into that big part of it is what did what did you? I don't know if you get into CFM that much or how serious you take it, but how did you feel when those notes dropped this year? that they didn't do um, anything really <laughs> yeah i mean i definitely definitely feel for like everyone that's like that really gets mad and buys mad to play cfm and like do all that stuff it's 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 crazy that they really haven't like it's been so long they just haven't made pretty much any improvements other than like a couple years ago when they changed like the menus or like it just looks different now but everything about it has been pretty much the same for like years and they, they really haven't like made a big update to it so yeah, so I, I, I'm the same way. Like, I used to be a huge, a huge, huge, like, franchise guy. And then I kind of, like, faded out of it because it was just, it, they weren't changing nothing. Um, there was a thing earlier in the year where a guy had posted up, like, this whole, like, breakdown of how they could change it and how um, that mode could, like, be spun into, like, this awesome, like, mode. And... I don't know if they I, apparently they just don't, don't see it, and they just had a guy come out. Uh, one of the senior producers, I think, just came out um, on EA Direct. They just did it, uh, came out saying that they're going to be doing stuff to it, and like everybody just went off on them pretty much, saying, "Well, your words, <laughs> we don't care what you say. Your actions are going to speak louder." So, I mean, I guess. Like, a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people ref, getting refunds and everything so far. Like, they've been saying they've been refunding their pre-orders and stuff. Yeah, no, I, I see a lot of people saying, like, I'm not down buying Madden this year, all, all this stuff. Game needs to be fixed. And it's like, uh, I wouldn't go that far, but, like, I'm, I'm still going to play the game. But, uh, right. yeah, people are definitely really mad. I mean, like, what, I mean, if in your, in your, like, I guess if you wanted Madden to be your way, which, what do you look for what are you looking for in madden 21 well as like you want to see fixed yeah well as a competitive player i just want their like my priority to me uh and it's different for everyone but like mine is just i want there to be a a skill gap and like and just basically a dedicated like mode for competitive madden and uh just like with everything that has been like that like madden 20 with like running the ball with no quarterback and all this stuff, running with your, your QB every play, and just everything about Madden 20 is there just needs to be like a skill gap um, in the game where it's just the, the gameplay has to be better. And um, I don't know. 
That's just yeah, I mean, I, I understand 100% on that because I'm, I'm not great at the game. I can get like 16 wins in, or 16 wins in weekend league. Like, so, I mean, that's not terrible. It's not great. But I feel the same thing as like with all these cards that come out and then you add all these abilities to it is that you're allowing people that truthfully would not keep up with you to keep up with you because they have an ability. It doesn't matter how good the card it is, it's more about the ability. Yeah, I mean, like, that's that's what it, I, a lot of, like, competitive Madden is uh, just, like, team building. And basically, if you go into a game with somebody, even though you could be a lot better than them, but if you don't have the right abilities or the right, if you choose the right abilities, you don't know exactly what they're running or, like, what their scheme is and you go in the game with the wrong abilities, you can easily lose the game to a much worse player just by your team. And that's not how it should be. Yeah, I mean, I would, like I like I said, I've been watching for a while now. I've been watching for, what, maybe three, four years now I've been watching the MCS. And to see what came out of, out of like the 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 final like the mat what I think that's the Madden Bowl right that's the big one yeah so, cool. so they I mean not taking nothing away from Joke because Joke's a great player but he won with no quarterback and that's just to me is like mind blowing that you could even do that in football yeah and, I mean like literally all the salary cap tournaments this year were run or were were won by people running every single play. And and same with like the Madden Classic too. Pretty much, pretty much every term and draft champs like uh, Noah won. Basically, he he passed maybe like once or twice a game. Uh, Madden Classic Mo ran pretty much every single play. It's just how the game has gone this year, where it's just super run heavy. Now, do you now as you talk balance, you are you talking like a balance like that? You have to you have to be able to run and pass. Is that the balance that you're looking for in the game? Yeah. Um, and like just this is my opinion, but I just think passing and Madden is is a lot more skillful than running. Like, sure, like if you're running, like you gotta read the lanes, you gotta read the blocks or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but like passing, you have to you have to call make make sure you're calling the right play. You gotta you gotta make the read. Um, you gotta avoid the the sheds and the pressure. You gotta like you have to know what they're doing on defense. Um, it's just like a whole nother like skill to passing uh like compared to running where you're kind of just like praying for blocks and it's just it's not that hard to uh just just to read the blocks and and run in my opinion yeah i mean i agree i mean because there's a when you look at it it's when they're when you're out there passing you gotta the guys are out there usering you gotta look for you're trying to figure out like if they're if they're baiting you and how far that that linebacker can drift and how how quick you can get back to your guy and like sometimes i'll throw the ball and i'll be like holy shit I'm like, how the hell did he get me that far away like because like you'll be thinking that he's really like leaning but he's really not he's waiting for you to throw the ball and he's gonna be like all over it uh, and, it's, a, it's a whole another game but like yeah, because definitely because i mean it that that person when they're using they're using their linebacker you have it can it, it literally one person can take up two routes easy you know what i mean like it easily takes yeah. away two routes or more it can ruin the whole route tree as you're going through it if you don't have people going away from it or what going open i think one of my biggest routes that i hated this year was everybody throwing that little out route or to like the like throwing it to the corner like it was probably that corner route was just so terrible because like the zones wouldn't play it at all. They would stay so far off of it, would never come up on it. And I'm just like, dude, like this is not football. Like, come on. Like I played, yeah, I played for a long time. I played college football. I played minor league football. Like I played the game. And I guess this was it was so rough that you can't stop that play. That was like that's the thing about this year. It's like it's it's actually like this year's zones have been so good. Like actually, compared to to like last year, zones were way worse last year. Um, but like the only thing about the zones this year is like the rollout corners are so good to where you can roll out of the pocket and like all the zones will just completely like drop and dump out or whatever. You can just kind of throw anything. Um, that's that's basically like the only thing that has really benefited passers this year is uh, being able to like roll out and throw corner outs and out routes or whatever. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I just get, I guess I get annoyed by it. It was like, because you'll have like Patrick Mahomes. And the worst I think was it came out is when Lamar got Lamar, when he would roll out, he could launch the ball 70 to 80 yards down the field, rolling out and it'd be yeah. cross body to the other corner. I'm like, like, how do you cover that? Like, how are you even able to get there to make that play? It's impossible. No, like, it's what, like you have ability too, like like dashing, dashing dead eye, cross body dead eye, or whatever, where you're just making the wildest throws. Like, you can literally just run backwards and turn your shoulder and just make the like most insane throw ever because all these abilities and stuff. Now, would like if you got like if you wanted like your perfect, what would, what would be your perfect competitive? Like scenario that Madden can do, like how would you want that to go? Just honestly, a, a pass like a, a game where it's it, most people are passing, or, or at least it's just harder to run. To where you're you're gonna see like when you think about the best passers, I I, I really think when you when you take the best passers, like they're also the majority of them are the best Madden players and like. I just think that's where the skill gap is, is, is passing, making reads. And, like, I don't know. I feel like people that are really good passers also know how to, like, use their head and think when they're, like, calling plays, offense and defense. They know what the, the chess match is, like, in competitive Madden with adjustments and, and blitzing and all that stuff. So I, I just think – I think passing is, is really the skill gap. I mean, what, how do you feel about, like, like, the instant shit this year? Like, I felt like it was super overpowered. Yeah, no, the D-line cams, yeah. that's another thing. It's like, they just, hopefully for, for the beta of 21, it's just, like, tuned down to where, like, literally, there was a there was a point starter cap where people were running the ball every play with no quarterback, and on defense, they would have three pass rush elites because the pass rush elite was so, like, cheap in cap. So people literally had three of them on the D-line, literally just shedding you every single play. Like, when I was playing on leaderboards, I was trying to pass. Like, it was just... I had Julius Peppers shedding me every single play. It was actually super frustrating. Yeah, like I got to the point, like I got real frustrated because like I was like they were like there's some people that were ballsy enough that they were they had they had it set up to where they would bring nine or ten people at one time. I'm like, there's no way of blocking this. Like what do you do? Like and it becomes so frustrating when you know this doesn't happen in life. Like Nobody does oh. this. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing with the zones this year is you're allowed to send eight, nine people um, and just have, like, two deep blues. And, and, and there's no penalty to throw, it. Yeah, you can throw your check down, and the deep blue is going to play an out route or a flat for, like, two yards majority of the time. And, like, even if, even if like, you get the throw off, you could get a pressure and accurate. You could, like, it's just you're, you're, so, you're at such a disadvantage, like, uh, attacking a uh, really, like, eight seven eight man blitz this year because the pressure comes in so fast the QB release is really slow yes they need to they ho i hope that god they fix those next year the releases i don't i think the best like honestly the best release that came out in the game was michael vick like he was the only one that had like that super uh, yeah. fast release out of all like the golden ticket quarterbacks they job I, I think michael vick's my favorite because I feel like with all the other golden tickets, like you had to put gunslinger on them just because the release wasn't good enough. But with yeah. Michael Vick, I feel like his release was like really good. Man. I think I think he gets like it's like a flick. It's not even a release. It's like poof, he just lets yeah, it go. Uh, it's like yeah, I think Aaron Rodgers has the best release in the game. But other than other than Aaron Rodgers, he doesn't really have like a good card anymore. Michael Vick is definitely like next up in terms of like release. See, I kind of I like like I I fell in love with uh, RG three. I think the golden ticket. Just because he was able, I could, I was able to stay in the pocket if I wanted to because he had pocket dead eye, and then he also got escape artist, and then I could also run dashing on him, and then I'd like to run like different. I like, I'm a, I'm a big, I love in rounds, but they don't tend to work a lot unless you know how to set them up, and because everybody's user in the middle of the field, but um, so with that. I got I got stuck on him like I was dead stuck on him because I had Vic and everything and then I was like do I want to sell Vic because I got Vic I pulled Vic and I was like God, do I do I keep him and then go get or get rid of him and then go get go get uh RG3 and then pick up somebody else like it was just one of those things I, I got stuck because after playing with Vic like you said he was like he was legit so wow, actually I actually did use the the RG three at one point because uh, I actually needed him for like salary cap tournaments because he was lower. Michael Vick, yeah, Michael Vick also didn't get sideline dead eye. Um, mm -hmm. they thought when it, he 
Vic didn't get the two slots where you could get Horror Master and Sideline Dead Eye. And a yeah. Sorry Cap Sideline Dead Eye is like five cap compared to Dashing, which is like twenty eight. Which yeah. is it, it just saved me a lot of cap, and that's what RG three got. So I, I actually do like RG three a lot. I think I think my my three favorite golden tickets are like Vic, RG three, um, and probably like Josh Allen is really good too. See, I think we got Josh Allen because he's so he throws the ball so damn fast, man. His his power, his power. He, you can launch the ball with him, man. Like, you just let it rip, and it goes where you want it to go. Because that's how I was a little like. That's what I said. Like everybody's like, "Well, Lamar's gonna be the best." I'm like, "No, oh, Lamar's not the best." Like if you're gonna run with the quarterback, yeah, he's your best guy because he he's built for that. Like none of the other quarterbacks are really built, even though they're fast. They they weren't built like Lamar. Lamar was specifically like a run guy. Yeah, no, Josh Allen actually. <laughs> He's he's tall. He has a really like fast release, and he has like good throwing run animation. He's he's really good. He's just not fast like like uh, RG three and Vic. Yeah. Well, so now going into twenty one with these new things that they're talking about, these user controlled linemen. Do you think you'll see people move away from the linebacker and move down to the line at all? I just, I cannot see it. Like, I just can't see that happening ever because Madden, like, the whole thing about Madden is, like, you are, you are using a linebacker or safety or, or someone where you can defend. Like, you're never going to be able to play defense with your CPUs just guarding the routes. Like, I just don't think that's ever going to happen. Um, who knows, though? Like, they do want I, – I just feel like this is, like, when you say, like, they want the Timmies or, like, the little kids or whatever, uh, yeah. the casuals to compete in Madden, like – when you see when I first saw the news where where you they're trying to make people user the D line like that's instantly what I thought it was like little Timmy user the D line <laughs> uh, competing in Madden games. So. Yeah, I mean, I like I, I'm not that. gonna lie, I, le- I I used to I was a user of D line for a little bit, and then I've moved back. Like I can't say a little bit. That's from where I mainly was at one point in time until I started actually playing against a lot of people and. And realizing I had to move somewhere so I can cover. And I got back to the linebacker, which like is where I played in college and, and in minor leagues. Like I played there and it was weird because it felt weird. It felt weird to me. Like I wasn't comfortable there. And I went back to safety and I found like I was like super comfortable there. And that's where I like to play. I like to play the safety. Like I get people all the time. People hate it. They're like, dude, how are you covering that? I was like, I played the game. I understand where the route's going. I understand how it's cutting. Like, I know how fast my guy is. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I know where his his boundary is and where not to go to where I get stuck. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. It's like, even when you take your linebacker, you come up too far, you get sucked in. Like, you get that animation suck and it sucks you into the hole. It's like, you got to stay back to a certain spot. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this year, I actually really like, like sitting on a safety, like, Especially um, with, uh, like, what they did this year with the linebackers where they're not going to animate, like, a safety, like, animate on the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the super, the super linebacker. <laughs> yeah. They're just going to, like, dumb out and get, like, out of reach animations. But if you're on, like, a safety, they'll actually animate pretty well. That's yeah. why I like sitting on a safety this year. Yeah, I love, I love the safety this year. The guy really, like, dug in on the safety. Like, right before I actually got on here, I was actually playing a guy head-to-head, and I think I picked him off three or four times with Sean Taylor. Yeah, he, I use, uh, right now I'm using Sean Taylor and uh, Taylor Mays, like Golden. Uh, yeah, Taylor Mays, I saw. I I have Taylor Mays as my sub linebacker. He fits so well at sub, but I have. Uh, I think it's Ed Reed on the other side. Like yeah, Ed, no, Ed Reed, I, I don't know. He's just, like Ed Reed's just been a card. It's never like kind of. You know how it is. I mean, you play all year long too. And the cards as they start getting, they seem to get outdated, as you want to say. And they don't yeah. seem to play like they they were playing because they need you to buy the new cards. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm, kind of, I'm kind of a believer in that theory because uh, I had this Byron Jones, 99 Byron Jones. When I first got him, he was an absolute stud. And like these last like three or four weeks, uh, I had Byron Jones out there, and he just wasn't making the plays that he used to. He has the same stats. Yeah, like yeah, he's like I have him too. I have him. He's one of my corners too. And he's just not closing. Doesn't seem like yeah. it's closing like he used to. Like he used to come up so fast and just smack him and ball go flying, or he come up and just run through him and take the ball. Like, and I, I really think that's what happens. This is like because 
I had got Reggie White's golden ticket, and before had before his uh, UL had come out, he was 